Timberwolves fans, the Deontay Murray rumors are in full force right now, and I still haven't made a video about it, so that's what we're here to do. Deontay Murray, is he real? Yes. Are the rumors to the Wolves real? Yes? Is a trade to the Timberwolves going to happen? I don't know. That's what we're here to discuss. All that, and more, right now. Alright, hello there. I'm Cooper Carlson, and I want Deontay Murray on my favorite basketball team. How can it happen? Why would it happen? Let's talk about it all, huh? Anyways, with interest reported from, you know, the Spurs trading Murray to the Wolves from insiders such as Zach Lowe, these rumors, they seem to be real. They seem to not just be, you know, name your random Twitter account that just throws out rumors all the time. Zach Lowe is legit. He has his sources. He knows his stuff. These have been out there since draft day, maybe a little before. But the Wolves, the Hawks, seem to be two of the main two teams linked to Deontay Murray. Two of the teams that I think have the capital to go get him. And yeah, I think this is legit. I'm excited. I would love it. Murray would be an amazing get for this Timberwolves team, and the exact type of point guard upgrade I've been talking about since the season pretty much ended. As you all know, if you listen to this channel at all, I like D'Angelo Russell, but I think the Timberwolves need to move on, need an upgrade at the point guard position if they hope to go where, you know, every team wants to go. Conference championship, championship, NBA finals, all that. If the Wolves want to achieve that with their core of Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns, then D'Angelo Russell cannot be that starting point guard. Deontay Murray, though, yes, I believe he is one of the players that can be an upgrade over D'Angelo Russell and help push the Wolves over being a first-round exit, being a play-in team, you know, being what they were last year. Murray, Deontay Murray, averaged 21.1 points, 9.2 assists, 8.3 rebounds, and a league-high two steals last year. All four of those stats were career highs for Murray, and he also shot a career-best 46.2% from the field, 35 minutes per game, played a ton, produced a ton on a bad team. Now, tr bring those stats, bring them to Minnesota, pair them with two guys, Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, even Patrick Beverly, Jaden McDaniels, guys to help take the load off of him, where he's not the guy. Murray still has a lot of upside to unlock, and again, he just last year really broke out. 25 years old. He's great. He's a fit. I think it would work perfectly, and when rumors began to swirl that the Spurs were open to trading Murray, it raised, you know, a lot of eyebrows, a lot of questions. Why? Why would this be? He just came off his first All-Star appearance. He's only 25 years old again, and he's on the Spurs, which is a rebuilding team. Wouldn't they want to hang on to this young, really solid asset? Probably, right? But at the same time, selling high after a player has, you know, their best season yet makes sense for a rebuilding team. I can see the other side of the coin where why they'd want to trade him, you know? They can get an absolute haul. The Spurs, again, rebuilding, stuck in this purgatory, mediocre area where they just don't seem to have anything building right now murray is certainly a building block but he's not you know carl anthony Ta anthony edwards of type of building block he's someone a team like the wolves a team like the hawks can add on to their team to push them to that next level i don't know if he's the guy on a team like the spurs to really build around and the spurs they can sell high and get a ton of value back on this kind of player it kind of makes sense if the right deal comes along teams that could give them the right deal you know the wolves one of them what could that look like is what we'll talk about here in a bit but why the wolves again i've mentioned i like the fit quite a bit but i think he really fits well really well next to anthony edwards carl anthony towns as well but i'm looking at anthony edwards here he's the future cat will be here as well but ants murray that's a duo that i absolutely love of course towns will be here but man that trio incredible Murray is like, he's a true two-way point guard. His defense, incredible. His offense, his facilitating to Edwards and Towns, I think would be incredible. I think it would go really well. And there's not a ton of negative stuff I've said around him, about him here. 
his shooting from outside the arc may be a bit of a concern, but again, the Wolves aren't bringing him in and being like, okay, you're the scorer now. No, he's here to play rock-solid defense, get the ball to the real scorers, and, you know, he can still get his own very easily. Again, he scored 21 points per game last year as the main guy, pretty much. So, very excited. Two-way point guard. Defense is really unbelievable. He's... I don't want to compare him to Patrick Beverly at all, but, like, just the energy he plays with, the tenacity, the fun he has on the court, you know? Just the energy he brings, I think, would be a great fit next to Ant. Another injection of youth. Contract is great. Two years, 16, 17 million dollars before he gets a max contract would, you know, that will happen. But, yeah, the energy he brings, the two-way style of play, and, again, I think he fits really well next to Ant and cat it's gonna be great it, i can't wait for this trade to happen i'm just guaranteeing it god it's gonna be so much fun anyways back on rumors the hawks are reportedly also maybe even more so deep into trade discussions on a deal reportedly centered around danilo gallinari which i don't why would the spurs do that first of all i don't know parties gallinari is partially guaranteed contract and of course multiple first round picks he Okay, him and Trey Young, that would be really good. Young doesn't play any defense, so bringing in Murray, good stuff. But the Wolves, definitely in the market for a point guard, especially with the rumors, especially on draft day, about them wanting to trade D'Angelo Russell. So, now, how would the trade package work? Would the Spurs have any interest in D'Angelo Russell, given that he's on an expiring contract? The Wolves also own every draft pick forever, those can be used in the trade. They have young assets, Bolmaro, Nas Reed, you know, they just drafted a couple guys that can help fill those roles. They've got the assets to make a big trade. And when you're a team like Minnesota that's been slowly building, rebuilding, you've drafted Towns, you drafted Ant, you traded for D'Lo, you're ready to make that next step. Players like Deontay Murray are the type of players you go make a huge splash trade for. You throw in the assets, you throw in what it takes, if Tim Connolly truly believes that Murray is the type of guy to take the next step. If Connolly is interested in, I don't know if it's speeding up the rebuild, but if you wait till next offseason, the Wolves will have a ton of cap space. So that's one option. Or, they can put together a huge package, speed that up, go get Murray, and just get it going now. I think it'd be great. Both teams, Hawks and Wolves, make sense as suitors for Murray. They could both use some help defensively. Again, Murray, elite defender, great length. He can defend a ton of positions, very disruptive overall. And offensively, he's good at what he does. And again, he'd have a huge, a lot taken off him, off his shoulders. He would just have to find a way to get the ball to Cat and Ant for the most part, and then get his when he can. I don't know if he's scoring 20 points a game, because the Wolves won't need him to. So excited for this to happen. But let's say, okay... Let's just say it does. It, it is happening. What does a trade package actually look like? Well, I'm kind of going all in here. In my opinion, it probably has to involve D'Angelo Russell and a plethora of young assets. I know we read that thing about the Hawks centering a deal around Danilo Gallinari. I don't buy it. Sure, Gallinari and 18 first round picks, right? But I mean, say you're the Wolves. What does a trade look like? What's the most you're willing to do? Well... Do I have the answer for you? At least from my side. Here is the most I would do for Deontay Murray. So, in this trade, Murray to the Wolves, two years remaining, 16.5 mil. To the Spurs, D'Angelo Russell expiring $31 million contract. Nas Reed, team option, then free agency. And then Balmaro, rookie contract, former first round pick. Super cheap if he develops, great piece. Along with those players, first round pick in 23 first round pick in 25, first round pick in 27. Now, this might be an overpay compared to what the Hawks are offering. I don't know. But I would be this I would do this. Nas Reed, his role replaced by Walker Kessler. Bolmaro, his role replaced by I don't he doesn't he doesn't have a role. D'Angelo Russell, his role replaced by Deontay Murray. The Wolves have assets, young assets. They won't be you know, they don't lose Reed, Balmaro, D'Lo, and they're suddenly just strapped for players. They've got players. 
They want to get Jalen Noel more involved. Maybe I'll do a whole thing on that, Jalen Noel. Wolves trying to get him more involved for sure. A lot of talk about that. Players they just drafted, they can slide in. Hopefully fill the roles of Balmaro and Reed. D'Angelo Russell, you're swapping him out for Murray. Great. First round picks, hopefully, ideally, at least in 23 and 25. Those picks are in the late 20s. Like, you do this. I do this. Do you do this? Let me know. I'd love to know. If you, you know, if the Spurs call you personally and are like, all right, you get a chance to offer us one trade for Deontay Murray. What do you do? What would you think? And, oh shit, I, as I'm recording this, I guess it's a two video day. The Wolves have agreed to a contract with Torian Prince, so there we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to Deontay Murray. Sorry, totally thrown through a loop. I would do this. Would you do this? Let me know. But of course, comment, leave a like. It helps a ton. Deontay Murray, that's my guy. We love him here on the Timberwolves Daily YouTube channel. So, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Do all the YouTube stuff, and I appreciate you always. Thanks for stopping by. Channel's doing well. I love it. I thank you all. You are all wonderful. So, peace. Thank you. See you next time. Let's talk about Torian Prince now, I guess.